Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Remember, if you love film, gaming, or television content, please consider clicking that subscribe button because today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Alejandro G. Inarritu's new film, Bardo, and why I'm still excited for it despite the critical reception it has received so far. So, let's get into it. <laughs> So, if you didn't know, Alejandro G. Inarritu is a very prestigious filmmaker who has won two Academy Awards for two of his most famous films, The Revenant and the Best Picture winning film, Birdman. Both films to me are some of the most well-crafted films in recent memory, executing on some of the best use of long takes ever. Bardo seems to be taking on a recent trend of a director making a movie about themselves that's supposed to feel very personal. Honestly, this type of film I have detested so far. I haven't liked some of the more notable releases in this genre like Roma or Belfast. I think they don't normally work for me because while they are very personal to the director, they don't really connect to me in any meaningful way because I have never gone through any of these experiences. I think the style of filmmaking is very pretentious and it feels to me like this is kind of just the trend for a filmmaker if they want to get nominated for a ton of Oscars because they have been heavily rewarded in the past. So I don't know what to think about this award. Now, I say all this because Bardo will fit into this category of film so initially I wasn't all that excited for it. Then the reviews came out from Venice, and at the time of filming, Bardo is sitting at a 55% critic rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which is very disappointing for a film that hopes to win Best Picture, and for a film that focuses on being very well crafted, rather than entertaining. It has pretty much killed its hopes of getting nominated, whereas a film like Don't Look Up, which focuses on being more entertaining, can get away with a Best Picture nomination at a 56%. Then the trailer release, and oh boy, that made me very excited for this film, despite the bad reception the film has received so far. This looks like a visual feast that will most likely live up to one of the most major criticisms of this film being that it seems very pretentious. I don't mind if this is pretentious as long as it doesn't take away from the story or how technically proficient this looks. From my impressions of this trailer, it looks as if Inaritu will be utilizing a lot of his signature one takes here and will be taken to a vast number of locations during a time when Inaritu was trying to make it as a respected filmmaker. Bardo also seems to me like it's going to be taking a lot of the fantastical elements that we saw occasionally in both Birdman and The Revenant and embrace that to the fullest. I don't know if that is going to fully work in the grand scheme of things, but I hope it will give us a rich film full of things to interpret. Because in both The Revenant and Birdman, they were utilized very effectively and gave the film a lasting impression as it made you think a little bit more deeply about the film. With all of these qualities being a part of Bardo, I am a little disappointed that this is going to be going to Netflix rather than being something that will be playing on the biggest screens imaginable. It's hard for me to really go into detail on the different characters because this trailer has no dialogue which I guess could be seen as a little bit of a red flag towards its screenplay. But the lead is supposed to be playing a version of Inaritu. He looks scarily like him in some frames and I cannot wait to see what Daniel Carcho brings to this very interesting role. Adding on to the visual aspects that this film will present, as a fan of excellent dance sequences in films, the ones in this look really well shot and choreographed, which is just another reason why this is all so exciting for me. Overall, I could go into Bardo and think that this is garbage by the time I am done with the film. I know I could be setting myself up for a massive disappointment here, but I cannot help but feel very excited for this particular film. Because right now, I don't see what has made this film so disappointing yet. Because the trailer looks like this could be a visual feast that is bursting with creativity and I am here for it. As I mentioned earlier, I don't get really excited for these types of films, but with both Bardo and The Fablemans coming out this year from Steven Spielberg, this could really turn my perception of this genre around. Because to me, these two directors are some of the most respected in the industry, and whatever they do, you are usually going to get something out of it, even if you aren't a fan of the film. Anyway, those are just my general thoughts about Bardo and why I'm very excited for it. 
please tell me in the comments below, what are your thoughts towards Bardo? Are you excited for this film? Is it even on your radar? And how do you think this trailer looks? I will see you very shortly in my video discussing the schedule for the Brisbane International Film Festival and what my thoughts towards that is. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in that video shortly. Goodbye.